Book of Prophet Ezekiel, Chapter 8. See what this brings us today. I'm going to try to read it as slow as I can to understand things. I'm going to slow down. And it came to pass in the sixth year, in the sixth month, in the fifth day of the month. See? So what's that going to mean? That's going to be a rule. The sixth month. The sixth Babylonian Hebrew month to this day. Okay. A rule. As I sat in mine house, and the elders of Judah sat before me, that the hand of the Lord fell there upon me. Here we go again with another hand. Remember? The other one gave him the scroll to eat. What was that? Chapter 3. Another hand. Like the hand with the king Belshazzar. The hand that has already come in here. And it's the second one. That the hand of the Lord God fell there upon me. This is the second time this guy, this has happened to him. Then I beheld into a likeness as the appearance of fire. From the appearance of his loins, even downward, fire. And from his loins, even upward, as the appearance of brightness, as the color of amber. So from the top up. He's amber, which is like orange yellow, and the bottom is fire. And he put forth the form of an hand. There's another hand. And took me by a lock of mine head. This is the This is a dream that John Pounders said he had. He was uh, just so it's similar. He said he was outside in his dream and he was taken up by a hand, by his head. This is, what, this is exactly what's going on here. And the spirit lifted up between the earth and the heaven and brought me in the visions of God to Jerusalem, to the door of the inner gate that looketh toward the north. Where was the seat of the image of jealousy, which provoketh to jealousy? And behold, the glory of the God of Israel was there. Huh, image of jealousy. According to the vision that I saw in the plain. Then said he unto me, son of man, lift up thine eyes now. So this is where it, it doesn't say, look, we're taking you. Nobody brought him in front of God. He is brought to an image of jealousy. He feels it. How would he know that? What does that even look like? Guess what? God was in there. In that jealousy. Then said he unto me, Son of man, lift up thine eyes now the way toward the north. So I lifted up mine eyes the way toward the north. And behold, northward at the gate of the altar, this image of jealousy in the entry. So here we go, go again, seeing jealousy in the entry of the gate. Of the north. He said, Furthermore unto me, son of man, seest thou what they do, even the great abominations that the house of Israel committeth here, that I should go far off from my sanctuary, but turn thee yet again, and thou shalt see greater abominations. Uh oh. It's like, oh goodness. Okay, we already have the, 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 the shit cakes and 
Is this a tour of just grosser stuff? Yeah. It's a new Disney ride. It's called the, Abo the Tour of the Abominations. And um, so we have uh, the great image of jealousy here now. And see, so we're going to tour some more. And he brought me to the door of the court. And when I looked, behold, a hole in the wall. Then said he unto me, Son of man, dig now in the wall. And when I had digged in the wall, behold, a door. And he said unto me, Go in and behold the wicked abominations that they do there. Oh, no, that they do here. Oh. Maybe that's why he had to eat the scroll because he... Uh, he was just being protected about all this horrible shit cakes and abominations it was about to be. Um, he's going through. So, I went in and saw, and behold, every form of creeping things and abominable beasts and all the idols of the house of Israel portrayed upon the wall about. When it says abominable beasts, it starts to make you think that they are they are doing transhuman, genetic, transhumanistic type works, and this may have something to do with the shit cakes. Because it's so I'm I'm if if that wasn't put there for people to figure out, then you better somebody gonna have to explain why it's there. I'm not done. I'm not looking anything up till I try to figure this out. If you want to leave a comment, which nobody has done in over, in almost two years. Yeah, you're more than welcome to do that. But otherwise, we're going to have to go through this together. And there stood before them 70 men. Uh-oh. You know who that is. That's, that's the old 70 that is the number of people that initially went into Egypt. They were all named, right? Um, even though it's it's kind of hard to see. It's somewhere between 70 and 75. But we will take this as the number. And there stood before them 70 men of the ancients of the house of Israel. You know who that is? That's every single one of those people. And it's in the midst of them stood Jaazaniah, the son of Shaphan, with every man his censer in his hand. That's their incense things. And a thick cloud of incense went up. Then said he unto me, Son of man, hast thou seen what the ancients of the house of Israel do in the dark? Every man in the chambers of his imagery. <gasps> Were they in that? Oh no, they're standing in that place with all the idols of Israel portray portrayed all around them. Then said he unto me, Son of man, hast thou seen what the ancients of the house of Israel do in the dark, every man in the chamber of his imagery? So even though those are the good 70, they are being, they are, Ezekiel is seeing them in this room with all his imagery. For they say, The Lord seeth not, the Lord hath forsaken the earth. He said also unto me, Turn thee yet again, and thou shalt see greater abomination that they do. Oh, that's pretty bad, right? It, it's showing the original 70 uh, fathers that got, not fathers, the original 70 of the tribes that went in to Egypt and they're in a, an abominable place they're in a room full of complete idolatry that's what um, 
he's being shown and this is must be allegorical this part I can understand this is just showing like this is what all those priests are doing like when like all their time in the dark particularly I don't know if they're like acting right during the day and doing this at night it, I don't think so I think they're just doing this all the time um And yeah, he's being shown this is really insulting to him, this idolatry. He's showing him idolatry. He's, he said also unto me, turn thee yet again, and thou shalt see greater abomination than they do. Uh-oh. So there's idolatry. What are we going to see next? There's something worse, Okay. What's worse? Then he brought me up. Then he brought me to the door of the gate of the Lord's house, which was toward the north. And behold, there sat a woman weeping for Tammuz. Okay. This person, this is pure idolatry. This is, I think, what Christmas is. Uh, I think it has to do with Nimrod, um, his son, something, Osiris, somebody, somebody's uh, child. And it has to do with that whole Egyptian story, like, or it's similar to it where they, you know, Osiris gets chopped up in like 12 or 13 pieces, right? Um, something about Tammuz getting chopped, I don't know exactly. But the unfortunate thing about this is that this is still the name of Hebrew month for. They take it straight out of Babylonian month to this day. They keep it. They keep Babylonian time. I'm not saying it's bad or good. I don't. I don't know because the time that we have is just as bad. Um. Everything's named after a pagan. All the days of the week, all of the months, right? Moon Day, th Tuesday, Woden's Day, Thor's Day, Saturn Day, Sunday, Moon Day, right? January, that's a Roman god. Mars, oh, Janus, right? Mars, Juno. Secret Augustus, and then the worst thing of all, right, is September. What does that mean? What does that prefix mean? It means seven. Why is it the ninth month? So we can't really blame them for having it all wrong because it's, it's all, it is complete uh, manipulation by people, elite people that have done strange things to suit their ways. Like, if you're in power, you'd be like, well, let's just say, I'm going to change the time. I'm going to do, I mean, who knows what, how this even occurred. But the beauty of that is, no matter what they do, is that through this Bible, if you have the, the months where I tried to learn, which I have stuck up on the wall, if you have the months and this is what I plan to do next after I finish reading this. Try to go into like a search engine and see all these dates that are mentioned. And the beauty of it is really that they cannot change anything because the the seasons are appointed and they cannot do anything about this. This is a miracle of uh, because really the whole world would be hoodwinked and there wouldn't who knows what there wouldn't be any type of reference but this is a reference to time this is time reading this bible d displays time properly in the way it should be for us to understand what is very important is the harvest right the first harvest and then that determines um 
certain days. And then you go to certain other days, right? Like, like right now, I have no idea why, right? Like the Passover, something about the 14th, something about the 14th, right? But look, you see this calendar? No, you can't see it because who can see anything here? Because there's no light because it's a Shabbat. But I, it says to start this on the 22nd. Gosh knows why. You see, it doesn't say to start on the 14th or the 15th. It says Passover Eve. That's when I started it. It's all messed up. However, there is a way better way to tell. I don't know why they why it's not on the 14th and the Bible clearly says it's on the 14th. But even these Babylonian Hebrews to this day, they are doing something where it's not even on the 14th, right? So I don't have it together enough to know. And I probably should have started on the 14th, despite even what this calendar says. But but God knows what you're doing. I mean, it's okay. If you go through that, however, it's really annoying all these times. They have been so manipulated to, to people's preferences and to their edict. This is, we're under Roman Gregorian time. Who did that? Um, also, you know, like it explains in here that the days actually, the beginning of the day is actually in the night time. And that's a whole new thing, too. That's a whole nother thing. But let's see what this says. Let's get over with this. But the point is here, this Tammuz thing, this month, this is the fourth month of, their ca of the calendar. Look. Now I cannot find it. Not the fourth month. What is it? Here it is. See, it's our seventh month, right? That's why. But see that? Tammuz. They still keep that name on their calendar. This is not right. Look. Then he brought me to the door of the gate of the Lord's house, which was toward the north. And behold... There sat women weeping for Tammuz. That is idolatry. The God does not like it. You do not weep for these Babylonian gods. Egypt, whatever they are. Then said he unto me, Hast thou seen this? Oh, he's mad. Oh, son of man, turn thee yet again. And thou shalt see greater abominations than thee. Uh-oh. So he saw the idolatry with the, the, the 70 fathers, right? Now he sees these women just weeping for old Tammuz, right? Here. And he brought me into the inner court of the Lord's house. And behold, at the door of the temple of the Lord, between the porch and the altar, were about five and twenty men with their backs toward the temple of the Lord and their faces toward the east and they worshipped the sun toward the east. Sounds like some Egyptians. Then he said unto me, Hast thou seen this, O son of man? It is a light thing to the house of Judah that they commit the abominations which they commit here. For they have filled the land with violence and have returned to provoke me to anger. And lo, they put the branch to their nose. So the branch is like the vine of the, the vine of Judah. The, the branches and they are just smiting it. They're just like putting it to their nose, like, like who cares, you know? Then 
Therefore will I also deal in fury. Mine eye shall not spare, neither will I have pity. And though they cry in mine ears with a loud voice, yet I will not hear them. So this whole chapter is about idolatry. Again, the whole thing. He's talking about jealousy. He's extremely jealous about this. He doesn't like it. 